Katie Ullman reporting for TTN HD Production Live. Here with Mark Lester, the president of American World Pictures. How did you get involved in the film business? Oh, well, it's a very interesting story. I actually was involved in politics, and um, I started making anti-war films in, like, 1971. And the first movie I made was a political movie. And that became successful, and then I segued into doing entertainment type films. So I started really in documentaries and uh, in shorts and in political films. So you started serious and then gradually got funnier and funnier? Well, I, uh, I've thrown in some serious movies along the way, <laughs> but mostly, you know, a lot of commercial pictures because, you know, I, we needed the business with the show, so we, I had to uh, continue to bring revenue in to keep making films. Was the business what you expected it to be when you got into it? Uh, yes, it's always been a lot of fun. It's changed radically over the years. And uh, when I started making films, there were only 250 feature films made that year. And someone just told me there were, there were at least over 10,000 made now. So there's been a huge democratization of the film industry where with the cameras you can use now and a lot of people, a lot of more film schools, people just making a lot more movies. And that wasn't the case, you know, when I started. The, the big market for movies, if you weren't a big studio film, was drive-in theaters, of which there were 5,000. Now there's 20. So everything's changed radically. Do you think it's a good thing that there are so many more films out there? Yes. The more information, the more creative, the more artistic things going on, you know, the better. It's just made for a more difficult market to make money in because everyone that's distributing films or selling films or playing them for television or internet or DVDs or wherever, they have to sort through, you know, thousands of these movies. Even a film festival like Sundance had a look at 5,000 submissions to come up with 50 movies. What is the most important thing that you've learned from the film business? Well, there's so many levels to that. And, um, you learn things on a personal level about yourself because you start looking at the films you made and they all start to have some central theme that ties into your life. And, and then you look at the, uh, the organization you have to have to make films and stay in the film business. You have to be tenacious to keep going and you have to be an incredibly hard worker and keep going and going in the film business. So you learn a lot about yourself and what you're capable of doing. And you learn about people these are all important aspects to having a career. And the film business is one of the most difficult careers because it's combining artistic elements with business elements. And it's not like a painter where you need an easel and, 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 and some paint you can go buy at the store for $100. Every time you want to do art, you need lots of money to do it. So you have to have skills in that area. So you learn like uh, a lot of uh, important aspects that uh, you can grow with. Is there a film in particular that changed your life or how you look at things? You mean someone else's film? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been a big fan of Fellini. Mm -hmm. That's who I thought was the most amazing filmmaker in La Dolce Vita, Eight and a Half, these classic Fellini movies I saw many, many times, and those changed my life. And then in particular film, Clockwork Orange, mm -hmm. I, I made a film called Class of 1984, which I even have some shots in there that are right out of that movie. So that was a really uh, groundbreaking movie. And then the other big influence was Andy Warhol films. So I tried to instill this kind of pop art into movies, which, which he did in paintings. But Andy Warhol also made 80 films. So um, these are some of the influences that I've had. What advice would you give to upcoming filmmakers? Well, someone. I give them the advice someone gave me when I first started, mm -hmm. and they and I didn't always take it. And whenever I didn't take this advice, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the advice was to just keep the the film. I guess it's videotape now or high definition, like spaghetti coming out of your camera. Just keep shooting it like spaghetti. Just have it keep coming and coming and coming. Don't say no to anything. Just keep shooting and shooting as much as you can. You know, and every film will just keep getting better. But, you know, don't say no because you want to just do every possible job and just keep shooting and making films and you'll keep getting better and better and not try and just be perfect on the first movies. And right now it's possible because you can shoot a movie for $10,000 and 
if you just get the money somehow and just start shooting. And um, I mean, that's what I did. My first movie was three thousand dollars, which I guess in equivalent terms is like probably thirty thousand. But mm -hmm. but the idea is just to start making films and don't wait for anything and just keep shooting. Well, and what's the best place to check out your work online? Well, you can go to uh, www.americanworldpictures.com. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, my resume is in IMDb, which you can see all the pictures and order them off of Amazon. Thank you so much, Mark, and best of luck with your upcoming projects. Yeah, thank you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for TTN HD Production Live.